More money for the TA. The ready starting to get a barrel ahead of him. Whether we has been able to end the jungle clean up as well. Down bottom. X set up. To mind Sunday. control. He has got the stun for a couple of seconds. Fade is looking for him. Stick charges will be there. One more right. we will do it. Oh, try to get the burrow strike up. Oh, oh, he dodged the stun. Get him. He's they probably... should have him. Oh, oh the Jukes. Oh. No way. He's where, got another where sentry. Where did he go? Where did he go? Oh. Nobody knows. The Jukes are real. He's out oh, in the trees. Mind control will manage to TP away there. How much they actually want to fight this? I feel like they should be a little bit reluctant here. But it looks like they're going to go for it anyways as the Sanctuary just going to lay it out. Old Sandstorm and then Burrow strikes to the other side of the cliff. So they can't really stop him. Oh. And they're going to have to choose to fight for this Roshan underneath the Sandstorm, constantly taking this damage of the Healing Ward. He's actually going to wear out. So no, the damage is going to be consistent. But Cuckoo's very low on this side here. He's going to Burrow Strike back in. Can he actually Who's got it? He gets a Cuckoo. He steals the Aegis. And now, are they going to be able to get out of two man LSA? Oh. Cuckoo's back in. Another round of Sandstorm. Look at this, Magnus. He's dead as well. And you are. Had to just leave the fight. He's been caught by the Bedlam. He's gonna man up a Cuckoo catches him again with the epicenter. Cuckoo comes in clutch. He just wins a massive fight for TNC and TNC bows down. And look at that. But the team fight is all that matters. Yeah, so they're gonna be telekinesis on a KP. The first initiation, the Shiva's chronosphere. It only catches the back line. He didn't actually lock down Moon. He will be able to finish off Ranger Potato, who doesn't have half my back. KP is almost dead, but look at that. Trapped inside the trees, the Guardian Angel barely goes offside. He's being hunted right nice now. The Ice Blast takes him out. Nisha looking to be able to finish off KP, but he's so tanky. The Ogre's good. Mid one, pummeling them with the volley. Try one to finish with off the maybe as best as possible, but Moon, he's getting into the action. Did some damage at Fateball to be able to finish off the Ogre. He does have buyback. Mid one, he also dies as well. Moon's able to chase him down into the high ground. Nisha man fighting against an Angel Boogie. He gets one. Can he get two? He gets three, but no. He's gonna die here. He does have the Aegis on his second life though. Nico Baby and KP sit on top of him. They need to be able to chase him down. They fire blast one. Fire blast two. Ice blast in. Four staff. That's not gonna hit. The tree volley over the top. They're gonna be able to turn. They're gonna be able to fight. Can they bring down Moon? The ice blast stolen by Ansar. One second for the blink on Nico, baby. And he does it to get The it. avalanche doesn't hit him. Now it's KP's turn. And he this was KP's buyback. They have the silence though. No. The mean, counter Yule. The scepter being countered by the Lotus Sword. Shiva's out. Three versus four. Nico, baby. They're One second. Oh, the no fire. Trying to finish off the faceless boy. But again, the fourth staff is going to be good enough. Pump. Who's in the middle of everything? Nisha has a BKB, though. They running out of physical damage. Nico, baby, is trying to go for mid one instead. But Moon, he's being checked out. One second. Dead. He's dead. Fable. He doesn't have fire. He doesn't have buyback. He was one second away from the Yules. Nico, baby, he'll be able to at least get Puppy. But the rest is secret. They're not tanky enough. They can't actually go up the second life of the raid. Ten seconds on for KP. Nullifier on to Puppy. Looking to try and execute the captain of Team Secret, but they can't finish him off. He's still trying to go for it. Secret's just ignoring him. dancing around. Nico maybe does have the reincarnation, so he's man fighting here. He even wants to die. He needs the AoE raid fire blast. That's why Secret aren't finishing him off. The Guardian Angel, good for the throw. It's exposed. Tier force down. Nico baby is trying to finish up anybody he can. But Nisha swinging away. They don't do the They have to throw it Another comeback! Unbelievable Another victory for Team Secret! I can't believe they pulled this one out. The fight lasted so long. He's been one by one sending out his neutral creeps to be able to pull back the wave to stop this push. But finally, he's going to be caught as the spirit does reveal where he's at, and PSG LHD will die with confidence now, especially since they've already brought down at least one of his neutrals. The Hellbear is still pulling some of the creeps, though. Okay. And this this really is the principle of getting kills into objectives, right? Is that No Tail, he understands the same thing, and he's saying, you can kill me, but if you're not it's taking the, the tower, run. it's fine. It's on the run. Uh, they're, he's pinging towards it. He's laughing about this right now. The turn comforts of the melee creep is going to get and the deny on the illusion rune while simultaneously pulling all of this into Anna. So it's oh not even going to return this into the next bottom lane. This is some next level shit from OG. Oh my lord. I, I can't even believe that. He dragged the entire creep wave so that Anna gets a double wave in mid lane. He saves the bottom tower, maybe wastes his entire time, and he denies the illusion room. Dude, that I is the most value single creep that I've seen. Oh, they don't have a smoke available. Kuro's coming yes. up to get the vision advantage. Observe a sentry down to get the Alok Miracle. 
Two players underneath the towel. There's your first hex going out over on S4. Miracle is looking for the back lines. Three of them inside the trees. Miracle found them. And he can't really stop it either. Aaron finds one. Out. He can be out so that one for Miracle. He's already got the two supports down inside the jungle. And then Mind Control with the Ravage. Controls off the course. The boat's coming in. But the damage from afar. Maybe they have enough to break the Agency model. They actually do. But he'll be back to life in just a second. Same with a buyback from Kuro, and here comes Miracle. Body block him up, and time block up past Easy. They tried to stampede themselves away, but it won't happen. Weeha just keeps moving forward. Artizi's rage will wear off in a second. The Hex is there over on S4. He invests them up. The Sun's on the side. They can't help. S4 stand up with a long range arrow from GH. They just keep going. One to the next. Artizi, he'll have to try and turn and fight. He's 1v5 before. Can he do it again? Samal wants to help him out. Artizi, is he big? Is he bad? Or is he dead? Miracle wants him around the trees. Looking for a time look with the gut, the armor will go down over wound. The torrent creates some space, but nowhere near enough. The buyback's there from S4, but now it's Kanka. We keep the chase going. This began at the radiant face, and it may end at the dire. S4 jumps in the back lines. He's able to get at least the pick off over on G8. The miracle still keeps going ham. S4 hangs up fly, can't get the disruption off. So now he'll go down. He'll get it offensively, but that means he's dead to the world. Miracle jumps in. They're looking for the other guy. You forgot something. Hello? Fly is going to <laughs> Watch the trees, up you go, we, he'll find him, hex and blow him up with the rockets! <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody just left him. Again, he hesitated for sure, he RP'd, kind of stood around for a second, he didn't want to just like refresh RP and so something. I think he wanted to try and, yeah, you say, maybe getting a bit too greedy, trying to, yep. to get the, the, the maximum duration cap, he's trying to step forward, but get Nisha. Scotty slow, I'll need to play here. Can she force to infest? No. no. Away. They've got Tims though. Tims is isolated on the side. Tims will fall. Armel's still looking and trying to get in. He's going to look towards Mimbop. Mimbop goes with the magic fist. So they managed to take the agents out of their hands. The the He's still alive. Now they drag him back. Mimbop falls. Zai turns towards Armel. They can get these kills here. Nisha's just trying to hold his ground. But Gabby with the rage heads for Yapsor. Yapsor's dead. McCabby. Nisha, Zai, they're turning the stop. Gabby's in trouble. Gabby's shot down. It's Nisha with the triple kill. And he may not be done yet. The multi cards come out, but it was Lotus. Nisha's headed. ready to turn. He looks to Cuckoo. That's going to be an ultra kill. He's not done He's yet. Got it, Stepping it. forward. He's just shooting the ball. Nisha has got a goddamn gun inside. Zai takes the it. Rampage. Zai, come on, Zai. Come on. That, that's just not cool, my lad. But dude, dude, get them all. Look how much gold he just got. He just he finished Shai's got it. He has 7,500 7, gold. The Dyer are scanning. Mark on this one. Still, of course, late game arc. Uh, a long way from happening. As Nisha's game is just slowed down incredibly. Tower is under attack. This spider, mid one. You got the buybacks OG showed last year. We saw this, like we saw this in the previous series. When you have all these buffs, every single item that a carry can pick up, Ooh, it's like cool. doubly effective. This is scary. He does up the black hole again. He's like, oh, it. there it is. It hits he got three. Pulse. The Midnight Pulse is there. Two of them have blown up. The bow will mitigate some damage, but Ame is still alive. They do get an ATO on Thorsir really just slow up. It looks like Point Bully the next one to go down. He does. They try to chase on backside. X Nova's dead as well. They're in the pit, but Chalice, he's going to die, and everyone is dead on the Radiant side. They're all buying back. FY, he's not going to make it out in Taiga. He might have just secured the Roche, if not the entire game. What a beast. Oh my god. Yeah, it's for 400, guys, with no items. You guys ready for the 25 on the Bristleback? I'm ready. Oh, and they're gonna get a freeze. They want to do some here. Chalice is it. They just want to steal it. Yeah, they do it. Gotta get X back. He's gonna be back. Oh Chalice got it. He gets it. He steals both of them again. X Nova will get frozen. Will he die? More than likely. They don't even care about this guy, though. What does he actually do? They want to get Chalice. Fox is godlike. Now they get the freeze. Chalice in a little bit of trouble right now. A lot of bit of trouble. 
just getting right click time after time. He's just frozen in the place. He does have the Aegis. They got to do this again. They have the cheese on Crystal Maiden, if that ever matters. We'll see. There'll be another freeze. Oh, there's going to be the Lotus Cone for the kill. Chalice knows he's just buying time, though. It felt like they could have maybe just ran to the base here. They still have time to get at least one lane of racks. Mid lane's already pushed in, hitting the barracks. Oh, yeah, it's going to die to catapults, funny enough. What towns did he go for on Bristle? And it looks like they still get three banners, despite all that scouting out from uh, mid one, too. So, EG, if you like, find about this, they send RTZ forward in the blur. He's not afraid. He jumps forward. He gets the missile blade. Mid one gets the BKB off, trying to run. Doesn't have his ulti for another 30 seconds, though. And RTZ throws on that. He's able to hit it. Chase forward for more. They have a shot from downtown. Tries to find the kill. And Sumail looking for the finish. Another remnant. Damn, Damn here is a bang. There's going to be the catch on the niche of the Weaver, trying to run away. And they get the buyback from the Sark and now run out of there. At the center, four staff trying to keep them all survivable. The like turnaround, RTZ almost able to get brought down, but not quite there. Disruption save again. They're all super low on EG and they need to run. But Sumail looking to finish this one off possibly as they chase forward for more. They find another. Oh! Two minutes! They did it to him! EG! And they're making it happen. The Satanic, it was on cooldown. He still managed to find that last crit. Oh, they chase forward. And Evil Genius is now going to hit the tier oh, three towers. I, they turn forward onto the tier four. They're running. Do you believe in miracles, ladies and gentlemen? EG did it. Oh, the panel, they better hurry. Because that one ended in a flash. I mean, this head in the grazed alchemist, don't forget, it gives you 28 bonus strength. That's just damage that he's gonna throw into these buildings. And there we go. Look at him just so press. Focusing on the melee barracks. The rest of the team are looking for anybody to be able to go to. But move, but move takes that opportunity to turn and finish off Nisha. Instant buyback. Puppy in trouble. The Maladie's gonna take Mountain's eye. He may be in trouble as well, but Nico Baby doesn't want to extend himself. He knows Megas is the focus. Moon looking to be able to finish off that range rack. He should be able to get this time. The fight goes off. Defensive force staff. Moon going back in with a BKB and trying to get this people. Unstable concoction locking them all down. Focusing the one with Soul Yarrow. The force staff does manage to get a point with the arrow. Nail with the other Meepo. That's gonna finish Bob. A buyback coming out from Secret. Now they have to hope, pray, that Mineski will feed their lives away. Oh, for the greater good, but no, it's going to be the arrow coming out on Indonesia. Controlled up, great paralyzing cast. Nico Baby trying to finish him off. That's going to be his first life. Second life coming up for him and the Alchemist. Unstable Kagakshi, ready to go. On the Meeples, controlling them up. KP protecting with the Heavenly Grace. Look at him just beating down those poor little dwarves. They're going to die soon, Moon. He may also fall, though. It's been going to survive. The Star Storm, not quite enough. The Scythe on the Elk is actually going to live through this. Nico Baby, he's controlled up as well. Big one. He survives through it all, Mineski, they die, and they don't have buyback on the Alchemist, they have buyback on everybody else. This is your only moment, I feel like. The Tier 3, Secret. And there's no glyph either. Move to the Tier 4, holding on to the buybacks. They're going to try and make sure the Rage of Potato is well. KP can still buy back. Nico, baby, he's going to make his jump forward. He does have those extra lives, but he's probably going to need it for the Omni Knight. He dies so fast. And sure enough, KP buys back with just five seconds left in the clock. Can he get there in time? Can he actually save Nico, baby? He's going to pop his BKB. Rage of Potato going forward. It's the gets controlled up, but does have the old scepter another leap away. They're trying to finish him off. Heal's coming out. KP can't provide enough. Go to the Ethereal Blade. Finish him off. Now, they find another buyback. Secret has been doing this. Tier Gonna fall. Yeah, Secret, this is so They do have the Maledic with the Dazzle coming out from them. They might be able to chop down these buildings faster, faster, faster. Nico, they they they're trying to go for it. They jump in. The last stage ever to be able to finish off Big One Meepo. But he's finished off Nico, he's dead. dead. He's dead. The Alchemist is dead. The throne is done. Got a hit of looking. Yes, stop it. Secret win. Secret do it. They make the comeback. Mineski end the game up 12 0 Unbelievable Team Secret! This is why! Hard up next, win for the echo damage against an illusion hero. And it's gonna feel pretty value. Magnus looking for the RP immediately onto him. The smoke stream going out, but he still have the damage. As a toss tree as well as man, Nisha's just not really getting the bashes whatsoever. They're just trying to kill Stewart out there. It is gonna be Singer who goes down, but inside they have been one trapped in the shots of the gems and the tricks of the trade. Now Chris Luck looks to be able to get out. They're gonna be able to chase down Puppy. Who else from Secret is gonna get caught? Schofield, he's trying for it. He's got the blink dagger, he's got the shackles. He's gonna dodge the arrow. Try and get the hex off, even with the Lotus Storm. It doesn't matter. Just stop Sai from being able to blink away, and he does it. 
Hector gets on top of Anisha. Look at him, he's just sitting on the high ground. He's gonna try to go for Scopefield right now. Does manage to get the arrow onto him, but immediately a smoke screen. Now it's Kira back. No whisper gets done up by Nick. He's not able to get that. The echo slam and the volley as well. They rain damage from above to be able to finish off most of Infamous. Mass buybacks coming out. They're trying to save Hector. Half health, doppelganger away. Mid one jumps into him now. The RP. Kira, the RP. It doesn't hit mid one, and that's so bad. He managed to get off the Fisher, and that's done on to Hector. The arrow is out as well. He nails the volley. Side with the Another fresh volley finished off. The support of Infamous and Team Secret, a long drawn out fight. And Roshan is up. That looks so good for them to start. Yeah, but now we do have a BKB on uh, Sumail to help replace that Aegis. Oh, crit. They realize he's there. Jumped on him. The score is in the median on top of him. Look at the damage coming that out. That was a mid -hero. Oh my god. They didn't stand a chance, and Crit looking to try and chase them down. They don't have buyback on the Invoker with the Chronosphere. Do they have any follow-up? They need the Black Hole afterwards, and Sai able to get it onto both of them. The huge combination coming out with the Echo Slam. One more! Secret! They're doing it! Is it going to be enough, though? They're trying to take them down in time. Four step off to the other side, and s 4 gets the cheese off trying to run back now. They still don't have mid one, but they forced all these buybacks. EG, are they really going to try and push for more now? The small ones, and they all die. Here comes Miracle, though. It's so hard to go for Roshan against ET. Epicenter is there. They're looking for this uh, Lotus Tiny. Storm. Yeah, he Lotus Blue, the Barrow Strike. Tiny still in all sorts of trouble here. He does have a toss if he wants to try and use it. Echo Slam catches out three. Miracle absolutely destroying them. He's got the Maledict on him, though. He's going to take a lot of damage here. Old Chicken is just holding his ground. He's life stealing back up as well. But he gets crit. He gets deleted. Miracle. Oh, that damage. Holy moly. He has over a thousand damage plus the crit Ooh. on top of it. Everyone's buying back right now. What? Roche, half HP. Totem. Miracle wants this for his team. Pango dies back though. If oh. he uses already, he won't have the second immunity. First buyback comes in. It's gonna be the SK. Paparazzi stays on the front lines. Spin will give him the protection. Ice Blast will arrive. Tiny, the BKB for Paparazzi gives him the protection. It does keep walking. Oh, it's oh. It's a two man RP. We'll try and push him away. Goes up to protecting Tim for the moment. The bash is over for Queen of Pitch. You can't take with a fire strike. Sonic Push. They took a tier three tower, but that's all they will take. We'll be there in time to make sure he doesn't get stunned up. Kuro will pay for that though. As he's at the side, Miracle will be able to retreat. Tim's is chasing. He knows that Miracle's greedy. Yeah. He knows that he's on the team. He knows. Tim's predicting Tim's. It. He's got him. He's oh so goddamn God God smart. He Tim's. Knows him. He, he knows. knows. So greedy. He's in Miracle's mind. Oh my God. Tim's. He knew it. He, he knows. He, knew. he, knew. he, he knows. Knew. Tim's. What a, what a smart man. How many levels did he get for that as well? I think he got what? like three levels for that kill. He's up to 19 now. I mean, I Look knows. at this man. Tim he doesn't care. He's killing every Dude. single core. This man. Dude, this guy is good. This guy is very, very good. Oh my Tim's. God. Tim's Dota, is, baby. It's as if he has map hacks. Meepo, dead. He's going to have to use the buyback. Out it comes. Zana. We'll get the D award, you continue to push on, taking these racks, Mind Control, trying to step forward, but Seb turns towards him, Seb pretty low on the matter, but he's got enough rainbows to bring Mind Control down to about 25% of his HP, and pop the BKB, Miracles looking for the back lines again, these ghost forms are lining up, the dispel will be there, on to no tell, but he's just the Thompson. Thompson's got the combo, the damage to kill him off, Mind Control is in with the ravage, they're trying their best to commit on top of Seb, Agush is out, can they even kill off the Enchilo, they've tried their best on the high ground adder, he has been nullified, the damage output is it's enough. Again, this single target from Liquid, if they get it going, they can still kill the court of OG, oh even God. the big old Spectre. As Liquid will hold his three buybacks they have to use. Seven instantly it, buying back. The Roche is up. They want to click it. Now. Going into it there, there's going to have to be a bunch of buybacks for OG. They have Refresher queued up on Ana. How much gold does he have for buyback? He doesn't have, he's almost had enough for buyback with the Refresher. The liquid. If he wants to sell one of his items, they're gonna go to get this one though. He's yet to consume the Aghanim's blessing. Liquid trying to force out these buybacks. Anna, he's got to buy back. The tier fours are being focused. They're not interested in Mega's liquid, they're just interested in ending the game. Still holding on to it. The first tier fours down. Liquid, they're gonna be able to get potentially another one out of this Kuro. Falling low on turn with the penitents. He's still alive off the back of this. Finally, the buyback comes out. The ancient is exposed. The ancient is going down. The 
just gonna keep hitting him! Oh, he's dead! They've done it! Oh my god! What an end to game one! It looked like Nick went out of in the early game! It looked like they started to throw it away! It looked like OG was on the verge of getting the win! They took everything bar one range tracks from Liquid's pace, but then Liquid... Just one moment of this. Especially when S4 blinks into a creep wave. Jump forward, finds two. That's a good two to get with the AM disc. Already proc crit living through this one, trying to find the follow up. It's going to be there. They take that one. They are going to possibly. No, they can't get Sumail. He's walking away. They find the finish. The black hole dropped down onto Arteezy. It's not enough. They're trying to run away. Is it going to be enough to break the catch the control? He time walks out of there. But now the turnaround. Big one coming through with the. I don't think so either. I think he's a funny hero. Look at this. He, you know, he Dude, look at this. They're, they're gonna sandwich Vici Gaming right now. They're actually gonna chase him into the mines that Jerex has laid out by the tower. If they try and go back to the tower, we're dead. Paparazzi's just running straight left, but instead he runs into a stasis trap. He does manage to blink himself away thanks to the Aphonic Shield, a fast blink out. And now an arrow nail set. Paparazzi says it's time to come back. The reinforcements are here. The call has been made. Vici Gaming gonna just kite out and he'll slowly take away. They're, the make it the they're just making it to the mines. They say, please, no. Jerex, safe as anything. But VG Gaming have oh, no remorse. The mines. Dude, okay, oh, 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 the mines blow away. Oh, 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 OG, they got wiped, but at least they brought VG Gang down Dude, with them. What a bait. What a bait. You saw No Tail, he hit right on top of them. Yeah, he was like, come at me, you know? He was <laughs> manning up there, you know? Come at me, I dare you. <laughs> oh, maybe. the bottom side first. Oh, we got the arrow on Anna. Anna taking a lot of damage. They don't want to over. They're trying to get back to the mines. The They're trying to get to the mines. No tail. Doesn't have a four set for anything. I feel like this is kind of obvious as they do have the detection down. Tops is going to jump right in, though. He does have the Wukong span. Gets it out before the Untable concoction. But that paparazzi, he does so much damage. He's going to be pulled back into the Wukong span, though. And Thompson getting all that life seals actually healing up. Same as Anna. They're both dead. They survived through all of those Mjolnir shots. And Tail Gang and Faye recommit with a freezing field. It's a good one. They do have the silence going out as well as the Crush, Seb, healing up inside oh, of his rib. Nice. He, it up. he got him! He finally pulled him into the mines. He knew it was there, They're too. going to oh, the They're, They're going to jump another one! <laughs> They're going to jump on top of Yang, who has the Corrosive That's a team so wipe. just gets one shot. That's a team wipe for OG. Can't lose. <laughs> Let's bring up that win probability. Yep. Like, what's our next items? What's our next timing? Because obviously the first the first phase is fail. I wouldn't say it's failed. I mean, there's still 14k up. They've done a really good job. Now the gump, S4 fire strikes. He's looking at DY's position. He's ready for the rock drop. He just needs the right timing for it. Ari's tanking through a lot of it. Now the rock drop does come down with a fatal bonds connect. But Fate's already dead. He'll have to fight back the damage in. They're getting it off. But here comes Paparazzi in for the stun. He wants to focus down Arteezy. And with the upheaval, it's making it difficult for EG to continue to move, especially as Ari has backed up some mail. He will end up falling. Chris trying to do something about it in the back lines. Turns on the back lines. Gets a follow up kick. But how much has he really got left to give? You got the flip. Tossed out and now crit, focused down by Paparazzi. All the damage he needs with the Gold Strike, he gets it. And with a full up, Ari continues to be kiting them out. S4 will fire strike in. He doesn't really be that effective. In fact, it's done the opposite way around. Arteez, he's slow on life. He'll try and hit your right inside of S4 to get the hell out of here. Fire strike in one second with the banner. It got taken away by the Mystic Snake. They have to pop out. They have to fight. At least he'll be able to get one die back over on the Tusker. Or maybe he can get oh, more. Oh, a oh, double oh, kill oh, for Arteez. Oh, a triple kill for Arteez. He's just turned this crap up. Ultra kill, given the rampage to pass! And his RTZ rampage is solo BG gaming! Do you want it? Do you want it? Oh my god. Actually, un that is actually unbelievable. It's probably gonna be worth it for OG to have Seb position that aggressively and for him to draw that much attention towards him. Thompson's getting space, Anna's getting space. Look at that build by Thompson. Defusal gyrocopter. Wait, what? Defusal? Gyrocopter. Press defusal gyrocopter. Fancy that, Thompson. So the doing something I don't, I don't think I've ever seen this. There's going to be an MKB finish now for Weeha, so his damage is going to be very high as Seb's getting slowed down. 
He's got Greaves available, but he's gonna burst. I mean, they're bringing him low. He's got the shield. Now they'll be able to turn. Cooldown's dropped down by Thompson. And here we have it. Miracle. His man is gone. He's able to pop the stick, get it a fair bit of it back. And he's able to head back in, pushing OG back behind the rags. They're getting a good amount of damage onto this tier 3 tower. They quit. They push on. On Io, that spirit hero damage is there now. Ana gonna join the fray finally. There we have it, Miracle's mana. It's pretty much entirely gone by Thompson's focus. He'll look for what GH is. He's trying to go off, but he can't get out. There's no mana. GH, he's dead. And now OG, they have that numbers advantage for this defense. They'll try and change the ball. Thompson, they're working for Ike, brings Miracle down. Then the Shackle turn around. They're looking for Jarrett. Jarrett's backing away. Thompson focusing Miracle. Miracle's still out of mana because of this defuse. Yeah. Jarrett, Jarrett, he's in with the combo. The GA is out. We all will fall though. The magic damage is there for Thompson. Miracle's trying to run. Another stick charge bomb, but Jarrett can shut him off. In fact, Jarrett, he's ready to try and look for more, potentially. There's only the ones. To go the back line. Thompson, he's on top of Kuro. Another cooldown's there. The toss back into the combo. Jarrett oh has the control. God. They're all getting picked apart as my control falls. Miracle is surrounded. And they're all dead. to get this as well. OG, they will hold. As and they're even taunting. They toss him to the dragon. Holy crap, Thompson, the defusal, the defusal is absolutely working super in all their mana. But I don't think anyone would have expected to see Jarrett. And he's pretty much the only team fighter on the side of Liquid right now. He's just not there. I know she's ready to go back. back. And again, Jarrett's in with the wrap around the combo. Now that's a mind control, the cooldown's there. Liquid has to back off. Again, mind control's mana pretty much got. He's able to pop the stick, get the GA off at least. Can they fight for the duration of it though? They're getting towards Seb. Real support. Sends back pretty much up to four. Jarrett's in with a double combo. On to Wheel. We are stunned up. We are dead. Miracle the new focus. The missile followed through. OG pushing Liquid back to the base. My control on Mana Thompson with his defuser blade. Picking them apart. Roll four for GH for Seb. Cuts him down. Roll for Shackram, Double kill. They're pushing on OG. Liquid getting forced back to the base. As Liquid have nothing. They have nothing to offer folks. They're just giving. Look at this. They're diving fountain and TI finals. They want Karoki in the fountain as well. They're going to get it. They're chasing Miracle as well. Oh my god, I can't believe this. I can't believe what we're seeing in this game for OG. You thought you saw it all against you. You thought you saw it all against you. There he is, gold. OG, I got two, two. TI champions, they done it, folks. And in what a fashion. These last three games didn't even seem close. Liquid, they had something going for themselves. But then they hit the brick wall. OG is the, the, the best, best team in the world. They, they are on a completely no different question, level. No question. They are so far ahead of anybody else that plays this game for a living. Game two, three, and four were absolutely ridiculous. The showing was magical from OG. They just seem to know exactly what to do with whatever trap they're giving. It doesn't matter. They have so many different traps, so many different play styles. They can execute all of them. Liquid. For the second time in a row. There he is. Seb himself, so leading the crew up to the podium. You cannot help but be awestruck by what this team has shown us in this entire run, in these two years, and now in the grand finals. Ladies and gentlemen, it's OG!